Hello friends, every time a war breaks out, we start hearing about nuclear weapons. Countries start giving threats about the nuclear weapons that they possess and how they will use it against their enemies. This might have arise many questions in your mind regarding nuclear weapons. Why does the UN call these weapons the most dangerous weapons on earth? In this video, let us see the answers to questions such as what is the history of nuclear weapons, who has them and who can make them. Before we move ahead, please subscribe to the Upfront and press the bell icon to get notification of all our updates. I am Nihal Mohammed, and you are watching the Upfront. What are nuclear weapons? Nuclear weapons are considered the most destructive weapons in the world. Their explosions are so powerful, just one nuclear bomb could destroy an entire city. Nukes as nuclear weapons are known are far more damaging than even the biggest normal non-nuclear bombs. Nuclear weapons are extremely powerful explosives that release radiation so their actual impact lasts longer than the blast. A nuclear weapon, also known as an atom bomb, atomic bomb, nuclear bomb or nuclear warhead and colloquially as an A-bomb or nuke is an explosive device that derives its destructive force from nuclear reactions, either fission, fission bomb or a combination of fission and fusion reactions, thermonuclear bomb. Both bomb types release large quantities of energy from relatively small amounts of matter. What is the history of nuclear weapons? Here I will keep in front of you a brief history of the nuclear weapons. In August 1942, the US officially set up the Manhattan Project to develop the first nuclear weapon. On 16th July 1943, the US conducted the first ever nuclear test. On August 6, 1945, the US Army Air Forces detonated a uranium gun type fission bomb nicknamed Little Boy over the Japanese city of Hiroshima. Three days later, on August 9th, the US Army Air Forces detonated a plutonium implosion type fission bomb nicknamed Fat Man over the Japanese city of Nagasaki. These bombings caused injuries that resulted in the deaths of approximately 2 lakh civilians and military personnel. On 24th January 1946, UN called for the elimination of atomic weapons. On 29th August 1949, the Soviet Union tested its first nuclear bomb. On 17th February 1958, the campaign for nuclear disarmament in the UK held its first meeting. In October 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis occurred. On 5th August 1963, limited test ban treaty was signed in Moscow. On 16th October 1964, China conducted its first nuclear test. On 18th May 1974, India conducted an underground nuclear test at Pokhran. In December 1987, the US and Soviet Union signed the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. In June 1996, Ukraine became a nuclear weapon free state. In July 1996, International Court of Justice said that the use of nuclear weapons should be lawful or unlawful in the case of extreme circumstances of self-defense in which the very survival of a state would be at stake. In September 1996, the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty opened for signature at the United Nations. In October 2006, North Korea conducted a nuclear test. Although nuclear weapons have only been used twice in warfare in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, about 13,400 reportedly remain in our world today. Who has nuclear weapons? Since the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, nuclear weapons have been detonated over 2000 times for testing and demonstration. Only a few nations possess such weapons or are suspected of seeking them. The only countries known to have detonated nuclear weapons 
and acknowledged possessing them are chronologically by date of first test the United States, the Soviet Union succeeded as a nuclear power by Russia, the United Kingdom, France, China, India, Pakistan and North Korea. Israel is believed to possess nuclear weapons though in a policy of deliberate ambiguity it does not acknowledge having them. Germany, Italy, Turkey, Belgium and the Netherlands are nuclear weapons sharing states. South Africa is the only country to have independently developed and then renounced and dismantled its nuclear weapons. The Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons aims to reduce the spread of nuclear weapons but its effectiveness has been questioned. Modernization of weapons continues to this day. China, France, Russia, the United Kingdom and the United States are officially recognized as possessing nuclear weapons by the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty, an agreement that aims to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons, promotes disarmament and peaceful uses of energy. India, Israel and Pakistan are non-NPT nuclear weapons possessors. India and Pakistan both publicly demonstrated their nuclear weapon capabilities in May 1990. According to the Arms Control Association, Israel does not admit or deny having nuclear weapons and states it will not be the first to introduce nuclear weapons in the Gulf region. As of early 2019, more than 90% of the world's 13,865 nuclear weapons were owned by Russia and the United States. As per armscontrol.org website, in 2021, the estimated global nuclear warhead inventories are as follows. USA has 5550, UK has 225, France has 290, Israel has 90, India has 156, Pakistan has 165, Russia has 6257, China has 350 and North Korea has 40 to 50. Who can make nuclear weapons? Theoretically, anyone with the technology, intelligence and facilities can develop nuclear weapons, but not everyone is allowed to. USA, Russia, UK, France and China are allowed to have weapons because they manufactured and exploded a nuclear weapon or other nuclear explosive device prior to the non-proliferation treaty came into effect on 1st January 1967. Nuclear weapons are the most terrifying weapon ever invented. No weapon is more destructive. No weapon causes such unspeakable human suffering. And there is no way to control how far the radioactive fallout will spread or how long the effects will last. The a nuclear bomb detonated in a city would immediately kill tens of thousands of people and tens of thousands more would suffer horrific injuries and later die from radiation exposure. It is rightly said that if the third world war is fought with nuclear weapons, the fourth will be fought with bows and arrows. If we want this world to be peaceful and a happy place, then all countries must stay away from creating, testing and using nuclear weapons. If you like the content we provide, please subscribe to the Upfront and press the bell icon to get notification of all our updates. Please share our videos and educate others. Thank you. Thank you.